You like the color? Okay. feel more alive and excited than just getting out of the dance floor and jamming. And that's exactly what my friends and I are here today. Hey, guys! These are my friends. The normal people just like you and me, and they love to dance. Each of them is a good dancer, but they all have different styles. Let me introduce them. This is Gus. Gus just likes to jam. That's Charlena. Charlena likes to give you a groove with just a little bit of attitude. <laughs> oh yeah, that's DJ. He's got that kicking it kind of vibe. Then there's Ronnie. He likes to show off. <laughs> give it a go, Ronnie. Here comes Spencer. Give you all kinds of bop. Meg is my little powerhouse. Small, but she packs a punch. That's Kevin. Once you get him going, man, he's too hot to stop. Last but not least, there's Micah. I like to call her Smiley. <laughs> you can tell she just loves to dance. Oh, yeah. Then there's me. Yeah, I guess I'm a bit of a show off, too. <laughs> Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna teach you a few basic dance steps to one of the hottest dance styles around, hip hop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now I know you guys probably seen hip hop on TV or even out on the streets, and you probably looked at it and said, "Oh man, that looks hard." <laughs> but it's not. Now when you know the basics. In fact, by the time this videotape is over, you're gonna be dancing right along with us and having a good time. And I know you're gonna say, "Oh man, that wasn't hard." In fact, it was fun. Now, can anybody tell me, why would you even want to learn hip-hop? It's good exercise. Absolutely. Right. What, what else? Because uh, it's a lot of fun. Yep, sure enough, sure enough. Anything else? To, to meet, meet the, the girls. girls. <laughs> <laughs> to meet, the, to meet guys. the guys. It's sociable. You can meet anybody. It's that kind of thing. 
The first thing every hey, dancer has. Yeah? What made you want to dance anyways? Yeah. Well, that's a good question. I'll tell you what. I first discovered that I loved dancing when I was about your age. Yeah, I was at my cousin Bobby's birthday party. And uh, I, I was kind of shy. It was an okay party. I mean, my cousin Bobby was going through her gifts and stuff, and people were dancing. I remember my grandma tried to get me to dance. Come on out there and dance. Go, child. But I was not having it. <laughs> I mean, I like to dance, but not in front of a bunch of people. But grandma was determined. She put on a special record just for me. So I tried it. I was nervous at first, but then I just started having fun. <laughs> It was easy. I just did what I saw Michael Jackson do, and before you know it, I was feeling like I was a star. Boy, I sure made my grandma proud, and that makes me happy, because I love my grandma. I guess it made me feel kind of proud, too. And that was one of the most memorable moments of my life. Aww. <laughs> All right, so that's it. What do you think, cool? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. And the reason I got as good as I am today is because I practiced. See? Practice? Yeah, practice. See, it's not enough just learning the steps. You got to practice them, too. Practice makes perfect, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, we're on a dance set, and we have plenty of space to practice. And that's what you need, space to practice. So go ahead and clear everything out of the way. Move the coffee table and pick up your toys and get everything out of the floor. That way, when you're dancing around, you're not tripping or anything like that, you know? Because we don't want you doing that, because it's not cool, all right? The next thing you want to do is make sure you're wearing comfortable clothes and shoes. So uh, loose shorts or jeans are good, and uh, boots or anything with ankle support. Remember, comfort is the key. So ladies, I don't think you're going to be wearing a dress today. And guys? You can leave those Sunday suits in the closet, all right? <laughs> yeah. Now, the first thing every dancer has to learn before getting into a routine is you have to learn how to count the steps. See, counting not only makes learning a routine easier, but it's also the way all professionals learn their dance routines. So we're going to count to eight. We're going to do it like this. Ready? One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Easy, right? You can do it. Tell you what, do it with me this time, all right? Here we go. Everybody. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. And one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. And one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. And one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. I think we got a little carried away. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Easy, right? We can do that. So tell you what, everybody spread out. Yeah. Now we're going to move on to a few basic dance steps to get you in the groove of the routine. to right now is we're going to do this slick dance I call it the slide. Hey, slide goes like that. Wee, wee. Well, not exactly like that, but I'll show you. We do it like this, all right? What you do is you, you step to the side, you point. You step to the side, you point. Now, all the while, you're nodding your head like this. You're going, like you're going, yep. And it's got a bit of attitude to it, too. You kind of go, yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up? That's the way it feels, all right? So I'll give you the counts. It goes like this. We go. If at any time during this videotape you feel that you're not catching on to the steps, feel free to go ahead and rewind the tape and work on the steps until you get it. All right? So we're going to do two counts of eight half time and then two counts of eight double time. Ready, guys? Yeah. yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. I feel that thought. Here we go. And it's five, six, seven, and eight. It's one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. It's 
two and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. And now we're going to do it double time. We got one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. And two and two and three and four, five and six, seven, eight. Yeah. You guys like that? Yeah. That's a cool move, huh? It's like, hey, ho, hey. Get that groove on like that, all right? Body roll. All right, now we're going to do body rolls. Now, you've probably seen body rolls in, like, a lot of dance and stuff because they do stuff like that, and that's a body roll. But we're going to do this kind of body roll. It's almost like being a worm. You go, little roll, little roll. And the way I'm going to teach it to you is we're going to do it like this. We're going to go, hit your chest, hit your stomach. Then you sit, you stand up. Hit your chest. Hit your stomach, you sit, you stand up. So when you do it fast, it looks like this. Hey, all right, I got it now. One, two, and three, four, and down, and stomach, and sit. And now it's double time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now you've done the body roll. Now you can go to parties and body roll and be like, hey, hey, I got the body roll, hey, like that, okay? The next step we're gonna do is a little thing I call stomp the bug. Ooh, stomp the bug. So if you got any bugs at home, you can use those for props. Um, if you don't, that's okay too. All right, here we go. The way this one goes, as we start in the center with our knees bent like this. We Make sure when you do this step, you don't actually stomp really hard on the floor because that could hurt your knee. Just place your foot and everything will be okay. Okay, now what I'm doing with my arms, just in case you notice that, is I'm gonna take my arms forward, so I start like this in plie. When I step out, my hands go behind me. When I step back in, they come in forward. Step out, they go behind me and forward like that. Okay, here we go. Five, six. Five, six, seven, eight. It's one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. It's four and two and three and four, five and six. Here we go. Double time. Now it's one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Four and two, three and four, five and six and seven, eight. Yeah. Dump the bug. Did you guys get your bugs? Yeah. I got my bug. That bug is dead. I'm telling you. The bug. Well, we just stumped the bug. Now we're going to smush the bug. Smush. Smush. We're going to smush the bug. I like that word. It sounds funny. Smush. All right. And it count goes like this. It goes one, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? So that would be smush the bug. This motion right here is the smushing of the bug. Smushing it, smushing it, smushing it. Five, six, seven, eight. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's one, two, and three. Five, six, and seven, eight, two, two, and three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. All right, now, what we're going to do hey, now. Walter, huh? Yeah? Where did hip-hop come from? Well, that's a good question. You see, hip-hop was influenced by a lot of different styles of dance, one of which was a really popular dance style called the Lindy Hop in the 1920s. See, Lindy Hop and hip-hop share the same kind of rhythms and movements. See what? Let's have a look.
Now that you've got an idea of where hip hop came from, let's get on to the routine. Now basically what it is, is it's a cool walk. You wanna start with your right foot, you're gonna walk like this, you're gonna walk across the other leg and look forward, touch your knee like this. Put your hand around there and touch your knee. You're gonna walk, touch your knee, like that, okay? So it looks like this when you do it. it goes one, two, three, four, okay? From there, we're just gonna move on to the second step, which is kinda like the grab your coat and pull it off, but it's stuck step. So you're gonna grab your coat and pull it off. And that goes like this, five, Six, seven, eight. Okay? Together it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's the first step we're gonna do. Let's try it again. All together, slow, okay? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One and two, three and four. Make sure you pay attention five, to what the head is doing, because that's an important seven, part. And eight. All right, let's try that again. Here we go, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So now what you do is you go in there, you've done that. You've gone to two walk, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now what you're gonna do from here is you're gonna cool walk back the other way. How about that? We got, we're just walking our butts off. Here we go. We're gonna walk back to the other way. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now, important things to remember, guys. When we're doing the grab your coat, pull it off step, and you step, you start here, you're gonna go five, six, seven, and eight. You pull that coat off. It starts here. Look at my hands. The hands, they go like this. They go five, six, seven, and eight. Then you pull it off and drop it, okay? Ready? Here we go. From left, going to the right. Here you go. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. You get that? You guys get yeah. that? Yeah, that was pretty easy, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's do it again. We're gonna do it again over here, and we're gonna. Up the speed a little bit. Here we go. We're gonna do it to regular speed. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is the cool walk and the grab your coat and pull it off step. is a section I call the bug section. Dun, dun, dun! Ooh, bugs. And see, it's like the bugs are crawling all over the place. And they're crawling all over the place, and there's lots of them. And you get scritchy and scratchy, and you want to go away, and you go, no, no, not the bugs, the bugs, ooh! <laughs> I hate bugs, ooh. All right, so we're going to kill the bugs, you guys. And this is what we're going to do. It's going to look like this. This is our next count of eight. Okay, it's like there's a bug there on the ground, and then there's a bug there on the table, and you got your lunch tray in your hand, well, you're gonna stomp on that bug, then you're gonna hit this bug, then you're gonna smush that bug, and then you're gonna get one in your thigh with your tray, okay? And so it kind of looks like this. It goes one, and two, and three, and four. You look on the other side, there's a bug over there too. Five, and six, and seven, and eight. All right, you guys get that? Yeah. Here you go, five, six, seven and eight, and stomp the bug, hit the bug, squish the bug, slap the thigh, stomp the bug, hit the bug, swash the bug, hit the thigh. All right, you guys did good, that was good. We're getting those bugs, you can call us the bug exterminators, all right. Let's try that again, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four. Five and six and seven and eight. Here we go, five. Six, five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four. Five and six and seven and eight. All right, here we go. Two more times. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four. Five and six and seven and eight. All right, here we go. Two more times. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four. Five and six and seven and eight. All right, here we go. Two more times. Five, six
six, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Here we go. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Congratulations, you guys. You guys look good. I bet you guys look good, too. Tell you what, why don't we just put it all together with the whole routine so far, okay? Yeah. We're gonna start over with the cool up. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Here we go. All right, yeah. Good job, all right? See, so you guys got all that? Did you guys get that? Yeah. Are you having a good time? Yeah. All right. Push away, move. Here we go. Here we go. There's like a person over there. You're going to push him out of the way and you're going to step. Push him out of the way and step like that. Now that looks like this. When doing this here. step, make sure you keep the same distance between the hands at all times four. and watch the way the arms swing. One, two, three, four. Your arms go straight out, in, straight out, in. Okay? You guys got that? Let's try it. Here we go. Just from there. Five, six, seven, eight. And one and two. All right, you got that much? Yeah. So you got, and one, and two, we're gonna take our tray, hit our chest, stomach, thighs, remember? That's just like a warm up, chest, stomach, sit, all right? But you got your tray, you're gonna go chest, stomach, thigh, you're gonna crisscross like this, crisscross your hands, smack your thighs, crisscross, then you're gonna jump up, cross your legs, open your hands, like that, okay? So that kind of goes like this, one and two and three, Three and four, five and six. I want to make sure I see six now. So you go five and six, then you turn seven, eight. All right, let's try that again. Here we go. We got one and two and three and four, five and six, turn seven, eight. All right, that last pose, I want you to give me a little bit of attitude and go five, five, six, turn seven, Hey, it's like, hey, I'm in the house, all right, hey, like that, all right? So here you go, let's try it again, slow with the counts. Five, <laughs> six, seven, and eight. We got one and two, three and four, crisscross six, seven, and hey, all right. You guys got that? Yeah. yeah. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two. Three and four, five and six, seven and eight. All right. Why don't we do it to music, but not only will we do it to music, but we'll take it all the way from the beginning. Okay. Can we do that? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's take it from the beginning, all right, Spencer? All right, here we go. Music. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Yeah. Let's do it again. Here we go. Five, six. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, all right. Hey, right, tell you what, let's take five. You guys, look, you guys are great students, man. I'm yeah. telling you. You guys pick up good. Oh my God! Hey, hey, what's up? Hey, Tweet. Hey, Austin. What's up, what? Hey, you guys know these two, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, let me introduce them anyway. This is my uh, ex friend, Austin St. John, <laughs> and this is Tweet Train. Hi. In fact, Tweet's pretty flexible. You ought to go ahead and show him that roundhouse kick you do. Yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Oh, the shoes come off. Oh. Hey. There we go. <laughs> uh, 
Excuse me, did I hear a roundhouse? Roundhouse. Roundhouse. Yeah! Hey. hey. Flexibility, remember? Oh. Yeah. You show off. <laughs> that was good. Great. <laughs> so, are you guys having fun? Yeah. Yeah, I just uh, taught these guys, you know, a few steps. Hey. <laughs> Austin, you ought to show them some of your steps. Yeah. yeah. You guys like that, huh? Yeah! Alright guys, well, listen. You know. We gotta split, bro. Ah, oh, be cool. Uh, okay, okay. Right. Bye. 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 Hey, you guys. I'm glad you guys came by. Thanks right. for coming. Bye! Peace! Bye. <laughs> We're gonna do is uh, the hand against the wall step. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, you get that? Yeah. So it's just you alternate the arms, you alternate the feet. Say, so, well, just do hands for a second. It's just one, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now you don't just want to put your hand up like this because that's a little stuff. So you want to take it up and place it. Almost like a mime would do like this, right? Hey, there's a wall there. Uh, 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 like that, okay? So then you step with it, you go one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, <clears throat> what I'm doing, and I, what I want you to do is when you go one, two, now three and four, it goes up, down, down. So your feet are gonna go up on your left toe, I mean, up on your right toe, down, down, up, down, down, okay? So you got one, two, up, down, down, three, ha, up, down, down, okay? Let's try that again. Five, six, seven, and eight. It's one, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight, okay? Let's do that again, and we're going to almost have it. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and eight. It's one, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. All right. Now watch me carefully and realize that what I'm doing is I'm going one, two, up, down, down. Now come back up. Five, six, seven, and eight. OK? So I think we can do it to uh, up to speed now. You guys want to try up to speed? Yeah. All right, join in with us. We're going to try it up to speed. Here we go. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Ah, right, it's pretty quick, huh? All right, you got to have, got to put in your thinking cap for this one, I think. Here you go. Let's try it again. Here you go. Five, six. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, up, down, down. You get it that time? Yeah. You guys got it? Remember the up, down, down, right? You guys are doing so good. You got to be proud of yourselves. Let's say everybody give themselves a pat on the back real quick. Yeah. Peekaboo. Remember when we did the slide earlier today? 
Well, now we're going to do the slide again, but we're going to use peekaboo arms. So your arms are in front of your face like this. You're going to go peekaboo, hey. Peekaboo, hey. I see you. Yeah. Do you see me? That whole thing, okay? <laughs> so just like we did the slide, we went step over like that and before we did the point. But now we're just going to hold our arms here. We're going to go one, two, three, four. You got that? Yeah. So you got one, two, three, four, all right? Peekaboo arms with the slide. Tell you what, we'll move on from there. We got one, two, three, four. The arms drop here. We go five, six, seven, and punch. And what you do when you drop your arms is you just kind of let them swing to the side like that. Hey, it's almost like skating. Da, 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 da. Like that, okay? All right? You guys got that? Yeah! Let's try it again, and we'll do it pretty slow, just to make sure everybody gets it. Here we go. So we got five, six, seven, and eight. And one, two, and three, four. Drop the arms. Five, six, seven, and punch. All right, let's do it again. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and eight. And one, two, and three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. I tell you what, why don't we all just try it with some music? Why not? Get ready, because we're going to put the hands against the wall step and the peekaboo slide step Here together. Here we go. Five, six, seven, Here eight. Here we go. Yeah. Guys, you completed the routine. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So now remember, practice is always the key to getting better. So keep practicing. Yeah. I've got this down. So uh. why do I have to keep practicing? Yeah. 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 Well, I don't want to practice. <laughs> you know, you always have the good questions. Okay. Well, we keep practicing for two reasons. One, no matter how good you are, you can always get better, right? Yeah. 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 Tell me this, do you get better every time you dance? Yeah. 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 That's what I thought. Now, second reason is, well, if we stop practicing, we don't improve anymore, right? And also, mm -hmm. we forget everything yeah. we learn. Yeah. See, all the really good dancers get that way because they mm -hmm. practice. I'll tell you what, here's a story of how practicing helped me. Okay. See, one day, I was hanging out with my girlfriend at the park. I can't believe your dog tried to bite me, man. Yeah, <laughs> cute. Oh, no. What's wrong? It's my ex-boyfriend, Trevor. What's Trevor? Come on, let's go. So what do you think you're going with my woman? I'm not your woman anymore, Trevor. Hey, I'm talking to him. So, I hear some real hot shot on your feet. You think you're the man, don't you? I get mine. So let's see who the hot dancer is. You and me, right here, right now. Look, man, we don't even have to get into that, all right? Yeah, we do. I'm about to put you to shame. Oh, really? Yeah. You get four tries, chump.
Yeah, I guess you got it going on. All right, man. <laughs> Peace. So you guys know now why you have to practice? Yeah. Yeah. And see, you don't practice just to be better than someone else. You practice to be your own personal best. And if you love what you do, then it's fun, right? Yeah. yeah. OK, now, at the end of the routine, when that guy did that big move and went through my legs, that was a, that was a big move. Yeah, huh? yeah. 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 that was a good move. So what, what do you think happened then? What happened? Well, uh, you weren't really sure what to do next. Exactly. Right. What else? You had to listen to the music. Yeah, sure enough. Anything else? You had to improvise. That's exactly what I had to do. I had to improvise. And I had to make up some steps that were better than his. And see, I couldn't have done that unless I had done what? Practice. Yeah. All right. So we're almost finished, you guys. So why don't we just go back and do the routine a few more times? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's do it. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Tell you we're gonna have fun, and if you think you're having fun dancing now, how do you think you can have more fun? Practice. Yeah. See, I couldn't have said it better myself. Well, that's it. Like we said, dancing's cool, it's fun, it's good exercise, and it keeps you out of trouble. You know what I'm talking about? Drugs are for dopes, and violence is for losers. Ah, but you guys are great. So remember, anything you ever want to do in life, you can do. All you gotta do is put your mind to it and keep practicing. Go ahead and rewind the tape, and uh, let's start all over again. As for me, I think it's time to dance. Peace.